Tracking the tropics, we're on your side with team coverage this morning as we're watching several different storm systems, one of them already starting to affect us. Rico Bush live at the oceanfront with that part of the story. And meteorologist Deatra Tate is tracking the latest paths. She's here right now with what you can expect in the next couple of days. Hey there, well you can expect high surf for sure, high risk for rip currents as well, and maybe even some tropical storm force winds impacting the Outer Banks. That's why we do have a tropical storm watch in place there. Here's a check of tropical depression number eight, roughly a little less than 200 miles south and east of Cape Hatteras. It doesn't look all that impressive this morning, but again, there is a chance it could further organize and become a tropical storm over the next 24 hours or so. So we do have the tropical storm watches in place for the Outer Banks now through about uh, the next couple of days. Now as far as Tropical depression number eight has max sustained winds of 35 miles per hour, so a minimal tropical depression. And it looks like it's going to be moving towards the west northwest at a relatively slow clip for now, moving at 10 miles per hour. And it is expected again to potentially become a tropical storm. If not tonight, then possibly as early as tomorrow morning. Make that curve right around the outer banks, if not going on top of the outer banks, just to the east of there before it's pushed out to sea by a cold front by midweek. We'll have more on your forecast coming up, Deanna. Thank you, and we have team coverage as we continue to track the tropics. Lifeguards are keeping an eye on the Atlantic as winds pick up at the Virginia Beach oceanfront. Red flag warnings are already in place, and more restrictions may follow, especially as this hurricane season ramps up. Rico Bush is live at the oceanfront with the latest information. Rico, good morning. Good morning, Deanna. Officials say as the threat of that tropical depression looms, we may see some strong rip currents, which may make swimming a major issue here at the ocean. Ocean front. While lifeguards say they aren't worried just yet, they say those weather conditions may get worse in the coming days. The head of life saving services, Tom Gill, and his team say they have already noticed a change in weather conditions. Lifeguards restricted swimming at the ocean front yesterday. They told swimmers they could only go waist deep into the water. Officials say lifeguards had to rescue five people from the ocean yesterday because of those strong rip currents. When you've got a tropical depression, we've got a big low pressure, we've got big surf coming in. Um, the rip currents can be so big, they can pull somebody out in just seconds. Gill says they expect more restrictive swimming days as hurricane season ramps up. There may also be no swimming at all this week because of that storm. Now, right now, you may be able to see that wind blowing on my shirt. You may be able to hear it in my microphone. That is what you're going to feel if you're out here at the ocean front this morning. Officials say if you do see those red flags, make sure you are staying near the shoreline. That's the latest here from Virginia Beach this morning at the ocean front. I'm Rico Bush. It's on your side. Rico, thank you. And in North Carolina, officials want to make sure that people are prepared for the potential for strong storms. North Carolina Governor Pat McCrory sent out this statement that says in part, these tropical systems can pack a powerful punch. Those who are prepared ahead of time will fare better. Public Safety Secretary Frank Perry says the state will work with local officials to make sure they have what they need as well. And stay with Wavy News 10 throughout the day today as we track these storms. And remember, you can find all of the updates on our weather app. It is free for all Apple and Android users.